I'm on another quest today. I am making spaghetti sauce, and there's a lot. The whole pot is full. I still have to add some liquid into here. Okay, let it cook a little bit longer, and uh, that's how big the pot is. And then I have my jars over here, and I'm preparing. So I added more water to it, and there's tomatoes and everything in here. So now I'm ready to can, ready to jar it up. Okay, if you noticed, I went a tad bit lower than the neck on these, on purpose, of course, and I'm hoping this works out because um, the meat is only half cooked. And you know meat makes its own juice. So I gave it like an a, a inch, a, you know, to um, cook up in case more liquid comes out of the hamburger. Because you have cooked your food, then you can it. So I needed, you don't want to go down too low, but I needed room because this is really good. I tasted it and it's awesome. And in fact, I got another half pot left down in here. <laughs> I got a lot left in there. So um, we'll see how this comes out. Okay, my canner takes 20 pints. So I have four, eight, 12, 16, and I'll do four more and we'll put them in. I have the first 10 in. The, I put the wide mouths on the bottom and I put the small mouths on top. Okay, I have 10 on the bottom. And because I used wide mouth and small on top, I can't get the last wide mouth in. So that'll, that'll be for me and my daughter for today. <laughs> so there they are. I have 10 on the bottom and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 3, 6, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9 on top. See you when they're done. All right, it's about that time. I'm going to turn it off and let it sit. I just turned them off. I'm going to let it sit until that hand goes back to the left on zero. And that means all of the pressure is out of the canner. That's going to take about 15 minutes or so, 15, 20 minutes. So as you can see right now, it's on, well, it was on 15, it's going down. So I'm excited. And I still have more um, spaghetti in here. I still have more spaghetti sauce in here. Um, I'm going to say about eh, maybe three quarts. So I think me and my daughter might eat that. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I'll let you see what it looks like after I open it up and set it back for about five minutes once this drops down then you can take off the hula dancer who is slowing down right now and then take it back set it back uh, just a little bit put the open up the lid set it back a little bit let the steam come out and let it sit like that for about five or ten minutes because if you don't it'll when you try to lift one of the jars out It'll splash like it'll, you can hear it go squirt. It squirts and it's kind of scary. So make sure you let your jars cool off a little bit. Get acclimated to the room. I'll be back. I'm to add this into the video. It's kind of interesting. I've bought mainstays jars from my Walmart and they're really nice and they work very well. But I enjoy uh, what's on the back of the box. I'm using the back of the box because my dish towels and stuff are too small for this size that I did today. And check it out. Um, it has information on what you need to can jars processing jars there's information here washing the jars sterilizing boiling them and then there's the altitude chart um if you're above a thousand feet oh you increase five minutes okay there it goes altitude um zero to one thousand feet above sea level you put your gauge on 10 your weight is 10 and 1001 to 2000 you use 15. You can use 10 for a lot of things. It's good to use 15. And I think it's interesting. And um, they were actually cheaper than the ball jars. I just had to show you that. So my canner is getting ready to pop down so that I can take them out. Maybe I can catch it in time. Yeah, because it went down to zero. Let's see if we can catch it.
Okay, and there it is. So I'm going to start taking them up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is this went to zero. This popped down. Now you can take the Hulu dancer off and put it up. Put it up, put it up, put it up so you won't lose it. And what I do is I crack this. I don't know if I can reach around. Yeah. There we go. And let, let that sit for about five, ten. Just let it sit for a while. If you're watching TV or something, let it sit, you know, half hour, whatever it takes. And uh, so that they cool and get acclimated to your room. Uh, and then I'll take them out. We'll get to see getting ready to take the lid off, guys, and pull out our spaghetti sauce. And we'll see how it came out. It looks nice. It's looking good in the neighborhood. All right, here we go. That's one. Look how deep and dark and rich this spaghetti sauce came out. One wunderbar. Something had to boil over though for it to be dripping like this. We'll find out. One of them was probably too high. I might have put too much in. It looks like it might have been one of these ones on top too. They're sealing. You can see, I don't know if you can see that, but something on top dripped. So let me get rid of this. Somehow, somehow, I'm going to move things out of the way. Okay. Yeah, something on top probably bubbled over. So here we go. And the one underneath it on the bottom paid for it. <laughs> but that's okay. This spaghetti sauce, I put a lot of good ingredients, healthy ingredients in it. And it has... Uh, uh, I, I grinded up some jalapeno peppers and it has all kind of peppers and a little bit of heat, make it healthy, you know. And there they are. Let me see, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, seventeen. Four, eight, twelve. 17. 17 jars of spaghetti sauce. And it's looking good. I almost wish I turned this into chili. Let's see. Let's see. And I have a few more left. There you go. All right. And I have to wipe them off. Wipe off the lids. But uh, I'm not so concerned about it right now. And uh, just tap the top a little bit. There you go. And then let them seal. And that was my spaghetti sauce, folks. So you can mix this. You can open up the, the jars and mix it any way you want to. You could use it for chili. You could use it for spaghetti. Whatever you want to use it for. But there they are. Okay, and I want to show you also something, whatever boiled over, uh, you can tell, see how it looks, see the color inside of the uh, ca the canner, so I'll be cleaning that out definitely, um, but God is good, I'm ready to take a rest, <laughs> God bless you, and thanks for watching.